Hey guys, Fireball Malone here. Um, I wanted to do a quick video on some gloves that I got. They are the Gerbing G3 heated gloves. They are the 12 volt gloves, so that does require you to hook them up directly to the bike. Gloves that you normally use are these Alpine Star gloves, which have been great. Um, they're water resistant, not waterproof, but they are very, very warm. So typically, um, I wear these, but when it gets down into um, the the critical temperatures where after 30 40 minutes on the bike you start to lose feeling in your fingertips um, on days like that I'll be wearing these kind of gloves um, because I have decent regular winter gloves uh, as far as how it's going to be hooked up to the bike I decided to go with um, the basic controller for it which is just an on off switch and one side hooks to the bike the other side hooks to the gloves so you can actually control them. They do get up to about 130 degrees, uh, but this is the wiring that you would use to hook it up to your bike. Um, there is a, an inline fuse. The gloves themselves, every piece of gerbing equipment is rated as far as the, um, the current, so it shows you what kind of amp is required. These are 2.2 amps, so I'm going to be using a 3 amp fuse that came with the cord and you can see that there's multiple fuses in here they're all different values and they're all color coordinated if you do use multiple pieces of equipment um, where you're going to be running your equipment in series then you would just add the value of the equipment and then go one step up to the next fuse so the, the jackets I believe are 6.9 so you just say 7 these are 2.2 so 3 so you'd actually use a 10, um, uh, a number 10 fuse uh, would be sufficient. But this is the equipment I'm going to need to get access to my battery, to hook this up, and then to actually attach it where it's safe, where I can plug in and plug out um, to get the butt, to get the uh, the gloves working. But take a look at the gloves real quick. I did get these used from somebody, a little Christmas present to myself. These are about $170. I did not pay anything close to that. Inside the gloves, this is where the, the wire is that you're actually going to hook to the harness. So the harness that came with these, what they call a Y harness because of its shape. And then what you have is where the two meet, this is the piece that will stick down out of the base of your jacket. These will run up through the back and then if you have this piece on your right then the longest piece is going to go down your left sleeve and then the other one will go down your right or vice versa. Um, but it is called a Y harness because of its shape. And basically these two ends would hook up to the gloves. This side would go to your controller. which then would hook up to the wiring harness going to your bike, always making sure that there's a fuse in between your equipment and the battery. But this is pretty much all I need to hook everything up. I've got a couple zip ties, screwdriver wrench, Allen wrench, and then a little cable cutter. Um, let's go outside and get the wiring hooked up, and I'll show you guys how I do it. All right. All right, so this is my 2008 Honda Shadow. Uh, my battery is located underneath the seat, so I just got to get the seat off, get access to it. What the hell? Oh, son of a nutcracker. Damn. The bolt that holds the back of my seat on just broke. Well, I'll have to drill that out. Okay. Now once I get my seat off, my fuse box is actually located right on top of the battery compartment. I 
I just have to, I think there's a small cavity in front of the battery itself where I can actually put the excess cables, things like that. So. That guy up. Okay, I'm actually going to put the wiring right there, and I'm not going to be leaving the switch out here on the bike just the actual wiring harness itself. So I'm basically going to attach it where it's like that so that I can plug in the switch and I'm going to be covering the switch in something so it's not scratching up the bike. I'll probably put it down like that. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fix this to the bike with some cable ties and then work my way back towards the battery and hook it up that way. Before I do that, though, I'm going to need, need this out. more to make sure it's nice and secure. I'm actually going to put one here too. And basically, I can just take this thing, plug it in, hook it to my harness, fire it up. So I'm actually going to be putting something around this part right here, so it's not banging up against that. Yeah, and that's nice and secure. So now to take the rest of it. Oh yeah, this part right here, a plug. Designed through the opening. I'm going to have to do modification to that original idea to ensure that this cap that goes over the end of it. is indeed going to be accessible. There we go. Now I can put another zip tie back on this guy. Do this.
keep hitting my head on my mirror. Be a nice day once I actually get myself a garage. All right. Thinking this should probably go inside the cover. At least that's how I'm going to do it to be on the safe side. Oh no, there we go. There we go. And that, as they say, is that. All right. Let's see if we got enough clearance to get this guy back in there. All right. And then there's enough slack in there um, where I can adjust this forward or backwards and that sucks to gain access to it if necessary how you doing Yeah, you can really barely even see it. I'm probably going to have to pull it forward a little bit just so I can get better access to it. But that'll work pretty nice. All right, cool. All right, I will do a uh, follow-up video when I get a chance to, to try them out. I'll let you guys know how they work. All right, until then, take it easy, guys.